Hi, good morning. How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are doing well. Um, I do not know what this video is going to be about. I don't know what the f I'm doing. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I hate talking to people about my feelings. I have the biggest emotional guard up ever. Um, it makes me really uncomfortable to be sad in front of people and I think I should get a therapist about it, but bitch am I? Mm -mm -mm -mm. It's like, yeah, maybe I should get a therapist, but now I'm like, oh, so I'm paying you to listen to my problems? Do you actually care or are you here for the bag, Sarah? So I figured out another outlet to kind of release the baggage that I have emotionally and that's journaling and it, oh, I, feel, I sound like one of those Tumblr girls. It's giving, it's giving Pinterest. It's giving Visco Camp. I've been journaling a lot about my goals, family situations, relationships, me being sad, and I've never felt so fucking good in my entire life. This is definitely not like my normal content. I know you guys are probably like, mm, is my girl going through a midlife crisis? I Hopefully not. So let's discuss this video. Recently, I've been going through a lot of relation, friendship, family issues to the point where I got so overwhelmed and I shut down. I kind of went MIA off the grid. The way my brain works, every time I'm sad, I will kind of force myself to do something that I know that makes me happy. Like for example, if I'm sitting in my bed going through some shit and I'm just kind of hyper fixating over something that I can't control, as in just being miserable in my bed, I will ask myself like, would I rather sit here and be miserable or would I rather go to the dog park and play with my dogs because I know that's always gonna bring me joy. Does that make sense? So I guess I can say this entire video is going to be me just doing things to bring myself happiness so I don't have sad thoughts. I guess that's about right. Ugh, I don't want to dye my hair. My toxic trait is that I want to like transform into a new bitch every three months. Um, I don't know why, but I can't keep the same like look. Like as y'all can see, I'm rocking the mullet. This is new. Never thought I'd be here. I look like Michael Jackson. It's giving he he. This is y'all sign to switch up your look. It's so much fun to become a new bitch every month. Like it's so fun to change. Is it giving identity crisis? Hold on. Me and my friend Brian, we're gonna go skating and then we're gonna get tacos. He's taking me to this like taco spot. And then after that, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. So y'all just have to stick along and enjoy the ride. Out here skateboarding. <laughs> Why is it so hot in LA? This shit's racist. What is the most memorable memory we have in our friendship? No. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh my god. You're done. You're going back to Bolivia. Oh my god. about to call ice on me again. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm currently filming right now. It's so nice to meet you. Have a blessed day. Oh, you too. Also, you're so beautiful. You should model. Thank you. You're cuter. I can't believe I'm eating alone right now, but then again, I'm not surprised at all. I look like a fucking loser, but I don't care because you know why? My ass is fat as fuck, so. Yeah, I'm eating alone, but I have a fat ass. If you know me, you know that I'm not a salad person. I think eating salads is so pointless. But sweet green, mm -mm -mm. this is too good. Waiter, pass me the bill. And every bitch in LA be like, oh my God, sweet green is so gross. Sweet green is so basic. Bitch, you drink green juice for breakfast and you do coke for lunch. Go heal. So when I was eating alone, I saw this girl also eating alone, like a little bit across from me. And I called her over and I was like, hey girl, are you like gonna be friends? And she was uncomfortable as fuck, even though my voice is like three notches higher than it should be. And I sound like a literal woman. I think it's cause I'm a boy and it's so valid because like obviously like girl, never trust a man, duh, bitch, pop your shit girl. I'm with you on that one. If a guy called me over to come eat with him, I'll be like, girl, what the fuck? I don't know you. <laughs> Before y'all say anything, yes, I'm on the toilet. You know, I feel like we're here. This isn't weird. This is, we should normalize YouTubers filming on the toilet. And also, I'm not shitting. Let's clarify that, I'm peeing. Yes, it's okay for men to sit when they pee. It's normal. It's not a gay thing. So I got invited to a party tonight. Can't wait to shake some ass. I like to party, you know, I like to dance. But I hate LA parties so much because all they do is stand there. You would think because LA is full of TikTokers that, you know, when you go into the parties, girl, you think they're just, 
You think, you think they're just, yeah, but they know. It's been a while since I've been to a party, so I'm probably gonna go. You know, I wanna go, I wanna go shake a little ass. Shake a little ass with the girlies. So, um, I'll keep you updated if I do go. Probably, probably, I'm probably not gonna go, but. I didn't end up going to the party <laughs> for two reasons. One, I got so lazy, I did not feel like leaving my house. And two, the thought process of interacting with new human beings right now sounds terrible. I actually ended up staying home and I can't make this shit up, y'all. I ended up watching the movie Sing 2 on Netflix. First of all, the elephant, I hate her. I hate her so much. So I just had a random nostalgic thought about my high school past and how no one told me being a preteen is traumatizing. Because why didn't nobody tell me that I was going to have to struggle with depression, anxiety, overthinking high school, my future, at the age of 16, all at once? Oh, okay. Also, seeing people the same age as you obtain success and figure out life before you could is the worst feeling ever. And I'm only mentioning this because I know for a fact there are girls or boys out there watching this video that are 15, 16, 17, and they probably feel like they're behind in life because they see kids their age, you know, doing TikTok dances, making YouTube videos, and now they live in mansions and making so much money and you probably feel like you're behind in life, which I promise you and I guarantee you, you are not behind in life at all. You don't have to live up to the life expectations because they do not exist. They are not real. And also your parents' expectations for your life don't have to match your expectations for your life. You are entirely allowed to form your own path without your parents' approval. Period. If you feel like you're behind in life, I promise you that you are not. Your time just hasn't came yet, but however, your time is in fact ticking. What I mean by that is your time on this earth is limited. And I don't mean to scare y'all, but you don't have time to waste. Let me ask you guys this question. What is stopping you from being great? Is it the opinions from other people? Are you afraid of failure? Insecurities? Don't let the noise of other people's opinions drown you out. Don't let the thoughts from other people stop you from being great. You all have the power to be whatever you want to be in life, no matter what, and nothing should stop you. Just put the time and energy into it and it will come to you, girl. If you want to be a doctor, go study, go to nursing school. If you want to be a YouTuber, girl, pick up the camera or start saving money to get you a computer or a camera and learn how to edit. If you want to be a dog, bitch, woof. And trust me, I know it's hard. I know it's easier said than done, but I promise you, take it from me. Six years ago, I would never expect to be this bitch that I am today. But when I was trying to figure out what I was going to be in life and I was going through real life shit, it sucked so much seeing people my age on the internet be like rich and famous or like have their life figured out. Like, even just seeing normal bitches in my high school that were like born rich or like their family had like a plan for them or like they were smart as fuck and they had life figured out and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, am I gonna be homeless? And I'm only bringing this up because I was so fucking broke. I was so depressed. I just got out of high school. My dad was trying to force me into college and made me work at Subway. And I would see people my age, like James Charles, I'd watch Emma Chamberlain, the Dolan Twins, and I'd be like, damn, you guys are my age and you have to figure it out? Yeah, I have to catch the bus? And my dad is like about to threaten to kick me out because I don't have money? Oh my God, I wanted to die. I felt like complete shit and I felt like I was behind in life, but in fact, I wasn't behind in life and my time just didn't come. The message that I'm trying to get across is that, oh, hi, wait, look at, oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so cute. So cute. Hi. Hi guys, say hi to my video. I'm filming. <laughs> Bye guys, I love you. Comparing yourself to other people can be a huge mental block from you becoming something great, such as a lot of other things like insecurities or a family or just the lack of self-confidence. It all just a matter of whether if you want to choose to do the work for it, believe in yourself, put in the energy and effort, or let time tick and hyper fixate over something you cannot control. I grew up in the hood, broke as hell, barely passed any of my classes. I'm just a normal guy. So if I can do it, you guys can do it as well. And I believe in you. So I hope this message come across the right way. Uh oh, he's in the closet again. Peak of comedy. I'm gonna keep it a buck with y'all. I do this thing where I'll go off the grid. You know, I'll go MIA with all my friends because I can be alone for a week straight and be fine and thriving. My mental health would be so good. I would not cry. Uh, I might cry, but I'll be alone. With that being said, I miss my friends and I'm due for some human interaction. So I'm going to invite my friends over for dinner. I'm going to cook. Wait, hold on, wait. Now I'm doing some thinking. Do I even want to do this? This is a lot of pressure. You know how these white bitches are in LA. She's gonna be like, ooh. <laughs> That's not from Trader Joe's. Ugh. Do I want to do this? This sounds like a lot of pressure, but I already invited them, so. We're stepping out of our comfort zone. Yes, yes. 
Yes. Hey. Hey. Luna. Luna, be nice. Luna, be nice to him. What the hell is wrong with her? We're not in the ghetto no more, Luna. We made it out the hood. Okay, it's giving all of Garden. I'm a shove. And if you disagree, you're racist. What if they don't like it? Oh my, what if I give someone food poisoning and they sue my ass? <gasps> but they don't like tomato. Oh my god, what if they don't like tomatoes? <gasps> yeah. Where the package it came out? Okay. <laughs> Lori just cooked me dinner for um, National Girlfriend's Day. <laughs> Today's giving sweater. I want to feel like I'm being hugged. I'm really in due for a hug, you know. It's been, it's been some time since I've had a hug. It's really hard out here in these streets, you know. So I just came back from New York, and my dogs missed me so much. I just know that they did. I can feel it. Like when they saw me, they were crying. They were whimpering. Y'all out there with dogs that cry when you come home from a trip. That hits different. That's a different type of love. I decided today that I'm going to give them love back. So today I'm going to be making them a puppy cake. I'm going to be 100% real with you guys. I've never made a cake a day in my life. And I'm gay. Something don't add up in that. So the ingredients that we need are sweetener, flour, peanut butter, applesauce. What the fuck? Dogs eat applesauce? It's pretty cool. I'm not one to really flex on anybody, but I'm going to flex really quick. I'm going to pop my shit. If you ever go to like these content creator houses or like these TikTok houses, they never have water. They don't even have chips. Like, baby, why you got a Bugatti, but you don't even have water? Like, why do you have six cars in front of your house, but I'm dehydrated? I don't get that. But unlike me, because I was raised in the hood and my mom taught me, right? Yeah. Yeah, get into the drink. Get into the diversity. Oh, I have a lot of avocados. <laughs> That's one thing I got. I love me some avocados. Avocado, avocado. Give me a B. I'll make a, I'll make a song about avocados real quick. This is the freestyle, bitch. The category is avocado. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Avocado, pretty like mulatto. Bitch, I suck the trance and you just follow. You just follow. Wizard like Dark Hollow. I want a white boy. Name Jack Carlo, yeah, I'm pretty and I'm thick. What the shit? Smack a bitch. Okay. Okay. Atlantic Records, hit me up. Yes, Papa is making you guys some cupcakes. When I was a kid, I used to still, I had like sticky fingers like no other. And this is just me being vulnerable, so don't use this against me. Like I love stealing from the rich. It's so fun. I went to Lil Huddy's house for a party and I was super drunk and I stole his pool stick and his eight ball so they couldn't play pool anymore. Says, I call that reparation. I'm colonizing the colonizers. You know what? I'm doing my part to making our community better. Hi, you're so cute. Okay, who's your first? Uh oh, get in there, girl. Yeah, get in there. Oh, is it good? She throws up. Okay. <laughs> 